Flooding being a major problem during Hurricane Adelia, some people are now worried about putting in a flood insurance claim. They believe their rates will go up or they may lose their policy. A local insurance expert says that is not likely the case for people who are insured through the National Flood Insurance Program, even if a homeowner has had several claims in the last 10 years. Jeff Patterson joins us live. He's in Shore Acres, an area very hard hit in St. Petersburg during the hurricane, Jeff. Good evening, Stacey and Josh. We'll take a look at this pile of debris. You can tell this house and others on this street were hit hard by flooding during Hurricane Adalia. Now the people who live here are having to deal with the aftermath, and some are wondering if they should put in flood insurance claims. So tonight, we went to an expert for answers. Historically, Shore Acres is a neighborhood that floods during tropical storms, during hurricanes, and sometimes even after an afternoon thunderstorm. Tina Baker has lived here for four and a half years. Just house after house after house of flooding. She's seen her neighbor's homes flood time and time again. But Hurricane Adalia is the first storm to bring high flood water into her home. She has flood insurance, but wasn't sure if she should make a claim. Well. I didn't want to use it to begin with, but by the time you realize you have water up, up your walls and um, mold growing within like 24 hours, I felt like I needed to apply for it. She says she's worried about her rates going up, but Jake Holhouse, the president of HH Insurance, says that's not likely to happen. Yeah, there's really not a difference from a coverage or a rate standpoint. But he says it is possible some homeowners will get a letter of cancellation if they put in multiple claims in a 10-year period. Even then, he says, it's not the end of the world. It's definitely scary anytime a policyholder gets a notice of non-renewal. Whole House says a homeowner will be switched from a third-party administrator of the National Flood Insurance Program to something called a National Flood Insurance Direct Program. It's the same setup as the policy. It's the same billing. It's the same coverage. It's the same, you know, claims process and everything along those lines. So if you have questions, all of this can be pretty complicated. It's best to contact your insurance agent directly, but basically your insurance rates for the National Flood Insurance Program should not go up even if you have multiple claims. Again, if you have questions, contact your insurance agent. Live in St. Petersburg, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.